What's good, planet? It's energy. I'm back with another energy reading. In today's reading, I'm going to be channeling a message regarding your love life and your relationship. So this could be platonic. This could be mentorship. This could be romantic. This can also be intimate. So I'm going to be channeling messages directly from the universe regarding your relationships and the shift that you could be currently going through and experiencing right now. So if you are undergoing a shift, it doesn't matter when you get on this video. This video is timeless. So you could be experiencing a lot of changes in your relationships around you, the people that are closest to you. So the purpose of this video is to give you some clarity in your relationships, but also maybe a higher perspective that you're not seeing in your relationship. So that is going to be the purpose of me doing this reading today. If you guys are looking for more readings, check out the tarotchest.com. I just released a soulmate reading there. There was only 88 of them. I'm not sure when you guys are here, but always check back and forth on the tarot chest. Those are going to provide you rare and limited edition readings. So that way only so many people have this reading. That means it's very, very personal to you on there. So I only released 88 of those soulmate readings, 111 twin flame readings. So occasionally I will go on there on and off when I'm inspired to add videos to the tarot chest. So definitely check that out. So I have three different images you guys can choose from. Um, and depending on the image that you are most drawn to is probably going to be the reading for you. And then you can check down below, check the pinned comment, check the description box for information, but also where your chapter is on the reading. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. Let's jump into the reading and see what the universe wants you to know about your love life. Card number one, card number one, let's see what the universe wants you to know about your love life. All right, let's get an overall theme card. For card number one, okay, you could, I mean, I'm getting both. You could definitely identify with the more masculine or you could identify with a very divine feminine, which means you would be channeling in another person. Yeah, we have passion that just fell out, absolutely. So I do feel like a magnetic and a seductive quality surrounds you at present, enjoy it. So there's a lot of masculine energy that is surrounding you. It doesn't matter what your gender is. This just means confidence. This means leadership, independence, being able to take care of yourself. Um, this is coming off as very attractive to the people around you. So you have, even on this card, I'm seeing the heart is on fire, okay? So I definitely feel like we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Empress and the Queen of Cups that just popped out. So let's get some clarity on your relationships and seeing what's going on for card number one. There's something that's destined and fated that is coming your way, card number one. It's something that you can't stop. I see the rocket at the top of the, the picture. I'm also getting that this is going to take off pretty quickly, all right? There's something about you getting things in order for yourself. It's like whatever makes you feel confident, all right? Some of you, it might be stability that makes you feel confident, but wherever you're getting your confidence from, there's a more of a, a deeper self-discovery of knowing who you are. This is what's going to give you absolute confidence. This is also what is attracting people into your life. Let's look at your relationships card one. What's going on in their relationships? Okay, the high priestess in reverse. So at this time, it is like really necessary for you to have a heightened, keen sense of awareness is what I'm hearing with the people that you will allow around you and how they make you feel. Who do they see in you? Which version are they seeing in you? I see that you are being guided by your intuition. Let's get two more cards, and then I want to clarify why the high priestess is in reverse. Yeah, so you are going to be attracting a lot of people into your energy field if you have not already. Once again, your energy is on fire. There's a lot of passion around you. Even the card, there's a lot of dark colors, the reds, the orange, all right? So there is something about you becoming your greatest version that is also attracting a lot more suitors into your life. All right, let's look at one more card. Those of you who are single, thank you. Those of you who are in a relationship, card one. All right, all right, yeah. So I definitely feel like there's a new found perspective on what it is that you desire in your relationships. Maybe back in the past you wanted, you didn't really care too much about some of the things that you desired. And now I see that it is changing in your relationships. It is much more about you and what sparks your interest and what excites you with the Page of Wands. So I'm seeing a lot of you who chose this card could definitely be single because we have the Page of Wands in reverse. I see there's a lot more passion coming into your life in general. 
all right? You being in love with yourself, you being in love with your life, you being in love with you is what is really giving you this alluring feeling of confidence. Confidence is the main word for you. This confidence is giving you bravery, courage to go after your dreams, to be in alignment with your passion. So all of this is actually connected and I'm not getting very many people right now in your energy field because we do have the ace of swords so those of you who are in a relationship i'm definitely sensing that there is no there's no reason to regret it doesn't matter if you're in one or not at this point there's no purpose to regret everything that you went through was for a reason every person was for a reason whether it, you gained clarity whether you gained growth acknowledgement about yourself and your true desires it's it's like everything happened for a reason there's there's something about just trusting in that and being able to let go of things that you sh think should have worked out or didn't work out or trying to have control all right so i see that with the ace of swords here there's a new perspective on your relationship that i see that spirit is bringing into your life at this moment let's see what that's about I'm just also feeling like you will have, look at this at the bottom of the deck. We have prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Okay. So again, those of you, there's like a, there's a split here. Those of you who are single, we're getting prepare for your life partner. Those of you who are in a relationship, romance is returning to your relationship. So that's what you're going to be experiencing. But why is it returning? Because you are much more confident. Okay, when you want you, your partner will too. <laughs> all right. Past lives, all right. So there's a lot of things that need to be let go of. Things that happened in your relationships in general. What are you moving towards with the Ace of Swords, card one? Dance. Have faith in your dreams is what I'm hearing. And move your body to music, dance with the rhythm of life, manifest your dreams through dance. So there's something about becoming more active and it could be through dancing. It could be doing something that you love. This is also taking an effect on you. Here's the thing, card one, you are changing. Therefore, your relationships are changing. So wherever you are is where your relationships will be as well. So the reason why a lot of this is heavily focused on you is it's because there has to be an alignment with what do you want? What do you desire? What is that for card one? Intuition, once again, intuition card. So this is on top of the high priestess, which is in reverse. So this means listening to your heart. This is also Pisces energy with the high priestess here. So listening to your heart when making decisions about relationships. How does this person make you feel? It, and this is all around. I'm hearing spirit say, trust your instincts and your intuition around people, card one. That's something that you're learning right now in your relationships because many people are going to be wanting to be around you in your company. But for some reason, we have the page of wands in reverse. Let's see why that is for card one. Okay, I'm just sensing a lot of people are going to be coming, have to get used to this new you, this new confidence. This, um, uh, I, uh, I don't like to say that people envy. I don't like to say that because even within envy, there is love, there is inspiration, okay? So it's very important that you have discernment because some people around you in this next season, it could look like that. It could appear to be that way. But our true nature is that we are really inspired. Okay, it's more of like if you envy it, it's because you're inspired by it. So there really is a, um, a need to be able to discern in this next season because you have a magnetic, seductive quality that is surrounding you. So a lot of people are going to be enamored is what I'm hearing. Allured by your presence, by who you are, by your confidence, by your strength. So at this time, the universe wants you to use your intuition when choosing to be around people and not to be afraid of the truth that's revealed within them. Because I'm hearing there could be some, some avoiding some things when it comes to people, okay? 
Now, what are you trying to tell them when it comes to their intuition? King of Wands, all right, and we have Temperance. So we have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries on the board. So we have the King of Wands. So Spirit is saying, those of you who are single, even if you're not single, those of you who are waiting or excited about the arrival of new people in your life, you, if you wait, and that's the thing, you're not waiting, you are allowing <laughs> okay so it's like you're not waiting but if you allow for the right one to show up the right one will appear so don't get impatient settling for the wrong one because it appears to be because we have the page of of wands in reverse some of you may be dealing with the situation ship at this moment you don't have to be take this all how it resonates but what i'm seeing is you will have options but only one will stand out it will appear that some people have quality traits of what you're looking for in friendships, right? Inspiration, passion, um, compassion is something too, is what I'm getting. That's something new coming into your life is more compassion that is going to be softening your heart. So when you know what you desire, you will just allow the ones that you don't to, to move along, move along, move along is what I'm getting. The song, move along, move along. I don't know if that's the white stripes, I forget. Okay, you are going through a spiritual awakening and it is changing the people around you. You can actually see them now. Oh my God, I see you. I thought your intentions were pure. What are you doing hiding behind there? <laughs> Woo, and there's something about your passions that are being ignited. You want to express how you feel about these situations with people in the past, write about it, talk about it, paint about it, dance about it. Like they're saying, express it. Don't hold on to repression, regret, anything that has happened. There is a channeling I'm sensing that the universe is opening for you to create, to express it. Okay. Whether it's pain, hurt, whatever it may be for you to express this, there's some type of creative avenue and outlet all right so allowing the right person to come you're attracting a queen of wands this is someone who is already in their power this is someone who matches your frequency your authentic frequency your highest version of you frequency this version your old friends will either have to open up themselves old people family friends it doesn't matter open themselves up to this new you and getting to know this new you or they're only going to be able to see you through their limited perspective of the old you. Okay, so there is a lot of letting go and just who's right for you to land in your peripheral. Okay, so don't settle getting impatient because it's not the universe. We're not waiting for the universe. We're waiting for ourselves to become more open to receiving what? Love is what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's see what chakra is it that you're healing when it comes to your relationships and what is being ignited here? Card one, card one. What's going on, universe? At the bottom of the deck, look at this. We have me. This is what I'm saying. You change, people change. They can choose to evolve with you or you will have to move along, okay? So we're getting divine fruit. We're getting me and divine fruit. So divine fruit says, as you work to improve and free yourself, strengthen your foundation. So usually the root chakra, the base chakra is the red, right? Next is going to be your sacral chakra, which is the orange. A lot of creative energy, a lot of pleasure, fun, joy, happiness is entering your life. And that is because you are changing. You have a love for yourself now that's inviting harmony to settle within your being, which is what it says. Listen to an honor and strive to fulfill the needs of your soul, nourishing your soul. Good friendships nourish the soul. Good relationships nourishing the soul, making you feel alive, keeping your flame lit, keeping you inspired, whether it's family, friendships, mentors. All right, some of you guys could be uh, manifesting trainers, personal trainers, fitness, nutrition, uh, a team. I'm just getting so much good energy coming to you through people. 
So it's very important that you have discernment with people so you can receive, okay? So it says, my intellect is light, my heart is warmth, and my soul is strong. I am nurtured by the divine sun. Something about your body, your physical body is changing. Why does this matter? Because that's who you're attracting. You're attracting yous and other people. So how are you changing? And you will see who you're attracting. So it says something about the sun and the fruit you bear reflects your inner light. So the fruit that you bear, you're getting ready to bear more fruit. What is the fruit here? Fruit, friendships, abundance is something else that I, I passion, harmony, unity is what I'm getting. Let's see what else you are bearing. Let's see what else, what are they bearing the fruit of? in your relationships, imagination. So envisioning a new reality, and look at this at the bottom. Passion. Okay? Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. That's what's happening right now. Look at all the orange here. Then you magically chose card one with all of the fire and the flames at the bottom surrounding the heart. It's no coincidence, of course, all of the signs will align. This is your energy. So you are igniting more passion into your life. Spirit is sending more passion and even passionate people. Look at this, this person is holding a torch. You could be attracting a, I feel like you are attracting a, a soulmate. Once again, the tarotchest.com, soulmate reading. If you wanna manifest a soulmate in eight months, that's there, if it's still there, okay? I'm just getting that you have a soulmate coming in very quickly. And this is because you chose yourself. You're choosing yourself, all right? So it's very, very important that you understand that in your relationships. Let's see one more message on how your relationships are changing in your love life specifically with this King of Wands. More passion, whoever this is you're attracting has a lot of passion. You're very inspired around them. They inspire you to wanna be the greatest version of you, okay? Whether it's friends, mentors, I keep getting mentors. Some of you could be attracting a mentor into your life. Teacher, someone to teach you about things that you actually enjoy. All right? That's really cool, too, that's coming in. Look at this, the lovers. Okay? Can't make it up. Yes, you have a soulmate coming in. You probably have one already around you. They're everywhere. But how open are you to receiving them? Not waiting Okay, well, this is also Gemini energy, but with the seven of cups here, there will be many options, but the right one will light your torch with the lover's card. This is meant to be three and three. It's a balance, equal give and take. There's a lot of love. And once again, look behind them, red, passion, so much passion. There's like, there's babies involved. Okay, you are meant to create. If you chose one card, one, you are here to create. You're meant to create. Some of you are musicians, artists, poets, lyricists. Stop overlooking your gifts is what I'm hearing. Th these gifts are actually what's attracting your new set of friendships in. And you have a passionate connection coming in. Okay, you guys actually might be drawn to card two. That could be the relationship that's coming in is when I'm feeling very strongly. Okay, you have a very strong soulmate connection that is around you or is coming in. This person will spark you passionately, whether it's to write, whether it's to sing, whether it's to dance, whether it's to create, whether it's to get into the gym to be the best version of you or start walking. Or It's like this person is lighting you up from the inside like a flame, all right? This person is already there. Man, I'm not gonna get too much into this because look at this, chariot. I'm not going to get too much into this, but all I'm going to say is that twin flames are not meant to be draining, okay? They're not meant to be training, draining. We have the wrong definition of what a twin flame is. Your twin flame is already there. They are already in their authentic version of them, their highest version of them. Therefore, if you meet your twin flame, the first thing you should feel is ignited within. And most people, oh, I felt ignited. Really? Hmm. Where's the fruit of your igniting? Where is the fruit? Okay, where is the evidence? You will see a change in you. All right, you will see a change. And like I said, it's actually more common to get struck by lightning than to have a twin flame. 
I don't know why everyone thinks that they have a twin flame. In order to even attract a twin flame, you have to be on a very, very high frequency to do this. And then, bloop, there's a duplicate you. And why would the universe create a twin flame duo? Because you're on the edge of the earth, they're on the edge of the earth, and you're raising the frequency together, which means a twin flame actually is aligned with their purpose. Raising the frequency of the earth, they're, them being together benefits the planet. This is not just about, oh, for me, this is for me. No, these are chosen people who meet themselves in another chosen version of them. Not everyone chooses to align with enlightenment. And so it's not to say it's a better connection than a soulmate connection. It's not to say that. It's just a different connection. You have a different connection with your mother than you will your intimate partner, than you will your cousin, than you will your friend. Every It doesn't mean it's better than one. It is just a different relationship. And it is so rare, okay? I don't know why I'm saying that, but you do have a lot of flame. You have a lot of passion. And what happens is when you're so in alignment, with your destiny, the universe is duplicating you. This version of you is not going to settle for anything less than the greatest version of themselves in another, and that is a twin flame. All right, that's enough rambling. So if you guys are looking for a twin flame or a soulmate reading or an actual twin flame reading, you guys can find that at thetarotchest.com for more of those secret rare readings. If you guys were drawn to card number one, this is what's changing in your relationships. It is really your heightened intuition to be able to make decisions and discernment so that you can just send back what you don't desire and allow what you do. But some of us are not sending it back. Some of us are still entertaining plates that we don't want instead of just sending it back to the way it's dressed. Sending it back and then what you're doing is you're basically saying, no, this isn't for me. The universe sends in and it's like to match your frequency. So that's what I'm getting for you. Card number one. I'm going to move on to card number two. Card two. This is your reading so far for every card. The ambulance has started right when I started. So this just tells me that so many distractions, anything that takes away from you and your connection to self of just feeling good is a distraction. How many people are being entertained here, okay? So if you guys were called to card number two, you could definitely be a Sagittarius. Definitely. Don't have to be, but I'm just feeling that there's a lot of energy. Could be a Scorpio, okay? Just saving people all right saving people there's something here that you're releasing we have a lot of messages first from the universe emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly let go of resentment criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and you're and your relationship will magically transform. Some of you guys could be in a relationship or desiring a relationship. Those are the two feelings that I'm getting here. Either you're, you are in a relationship already or situationship because we have anything, anyone that takes away from your alignment of self, feeling connected, feeling good. It's, it's communication from the universe. Are you paying attention? So I definitely see someone is coming in here if they haven't already. So let's get their relationships for card two. Those were those that were drawn to card two. Wow, this is insane. I just realized something about these cards. Wow. You are getting prepared for a person. You're getting prepared for a person Card one and card three are getting prepared for a person, but you may already have a person in mind or a person around you. We have the emperor in reverse, though. This is Aries energy. We have the chariot and we have cancer energy in the forefront. So something may, anything that's not naturally aligning, that's your answer. <laughs> like literally, I'm not even going to break the news. You know what it is and who it is that has to be cleared from your energy. All right. Anyone who doesn't feel good because it's not aligning, it just simply doesn't feel good. It doesn't matter why it doesn't matter who 
I'm, I'm just sensing you have to prioritize yourself in order to even balance this next connection coming in because you will fall so head over heels for this person. You will lose yourself if there's not a balance of self. So that's what you're on this journey for. So you could have definitely been drawn to a single person and also this one as your second card. So we have the nine of pentacles. There's something about you learning independence, financial stability, not having to depend on anybody because this is where your true authentic self is gonna shine, when you don't need anyone. When you don't need anyone, who do you desire to be around? Okay, so I'm definitely sensing spirit is saying, hey, there's some uncomfortable things that have to be addressed here within self. Okay, and to have positive thinking about this. So what is that you're trying to say for card two? Because I'm feeling it as well, thank you. We have inner beauty. Open the eyes of your heart and direct your gaze to the light within every being. So once again, letting go of whoever hurt you in the past, whatever the case may be, because we do have letting go of resentment or what someone did. And then when you are coming from a higher place, you will understand people are very limited in their own perspective. They can only see how expanded their perception will allow them to. And some of the places you desire to go, they simply just cannot see. This is gonna allow grace, all right? And also peace, of, peace in your heart to release what is not for you. Now, once again, there's something about complacency here. I don't know what this is about, but let's see, inner work. When you don't need anyone or anything, who are you? Who do you desire to be around? So it says, God brings me ideal situations for my inner healing. As I become aware of my weaknesses, I turn them into strengths, directing my thoughts to the positive side. So yes, you went through some situations, some relationships. Yes, some may have left a scar, but you've gotten more clarity and stronger and you'll never have to go through those things again. Some of you, some of you, Okay, may have children with the person that you're trying to make work out, um, may be married, may be divorced, or may have just went through a relationship you really thought would work or wanted to work and it just simply wasn't aligning or isn't aligning. So whatever the case may be, I see you moving forward with the chariot card here and having positive, optimistic thoughts because you are attracting someone who is mirroring you. Whether you are with them or not, I will leave them up, that up to you. They would be mirroring your highest version of yourself, and if you were in a relationship with them, there would be no room for complacency. So this is also some clues on those of you who are in relationships. You know, you know the truth. And there's also something about your physical appearance, your beauty within, okay? We have unconditional love at the bottom. My heart is free from resentment. That's the twice we have resentment from two different decks. Okay? What does this word mean? In the definition. Resentment, bitter, at having been treated unfairly. What does it mean to feel resentment? Feeling anger or displeasure of something regarding something that went wrong. Like, this just isn't fair. And so I'm hearing that your justice comes from the universe. Your justice is coming from the universe. And some of you, it's new love. Some of you, it's the love of a lifetime. But can you trust? So Spirit is saying when you aren't harboring that feeling, you can start feeling better about people and about relationships that you're around here and attracting people who love you unconditionally and you also loving them unconditionally, not because we need them, but because we love them. Now, there's a difference. They're bringing me to this point, card two, being in love and loving someone. There is a difference. There is a huge difference. When you are in love, you are in a frequency and you're inviting someone into this frequency. Whether or not they are open to it, that is being in love, which is why when you fall out of love, you see everything. Everything annoys you. Why? 
because you don't have the grace of unconditional love covering your judgment anymore. You can see, but you're not seeing through the eyes of unconditional love when you're not in love, which is why you have to love them even more just because. Unconditional with no condition. If you didn't take care of me, if I didn't get this from you, if you didn't get this from me, I love you. You're learning about love. Music Soul Child is a great song. So many people use your name in vain, love. What is love? Okay, so we can attract what we truly desire. Love is easy. Love is easy. You're not afraid to love. Are you afraid to eat your favorite food because you love it so much and you're like, oh, I'm afraid of it? Like, it's like, we really have to know what is love. You can love someone and not be in love with them. You desire to be in love, okay? The way that these two are looking at each other, that's what your soul is desiring. That is the truth. Now, whether or not you're receiving that, is up to your judgment, okay? So there's something about the world. Even on this card, the world is here. Traveling, exploration with this person, seeing the world together. This is what you would be doing with whoever this is that you're attracting into your life. Why is the emperor in reverse, okay? 10 of wands, resisting an ending. Some of you could be resisting an ending. 10 of wands in reverse, why is this? This is definitely relationship. We have Ace of Pentacles, maybe waiting for an opportunity or an offer, waiting for the right one, waiting for something to change, waiting, waiting, waiting. But I just see Spirit saying, move forward, move towards the chariot. And we're going to see what that is. Why is the chariot here, Spirit, for card two? What do you want them to move toward? What do you want them to move toward for card two? Something about balance balance in your relationships, balancing people, prioritizing. You have to come first. If your cup is not filled, how can you pour into another? And then some of the people you're pouring into have holes in their cup. So they're not even able to receive you or your love. So it's like you can love someone and not be in love. And being in love with someone is completely different from just loving someone. And that's something that this, that spirit is saying. Okay, so what are you moving towards? And it's, we have the chariot and the knight of pentacles. Spirit is saying, pick up the pace towards nature and grounding yourself and balancing yourself, taking care of yourself. And right now you are doing it in a very slow motion. You are still doing it. Okay, you're, you're always working and evolving on yourself. But what spirit is saying is that Love is meant to be easy. It doesn't have to be forced. There's excitement behind this love. Excitement is a very strong word. There's excitement. Those of you, if you're in a relationship, I'm using these words. So you can only be honest with yourself. That's where the inner work is, being honest. So you can get closer to what you truly desire. That's what this is all about. So being open to asking for help, not feeling like you have to save everyone. Everyone has their own connection to the universe and you must trust that. You are fully supported in this next venture in your life towards stability, independence, feeling capable on your own, okay? So that this relationship, whether you're in it or not, you will be able to just love. It will not be based on providing stability. It will not be based on any of that. Now, another thing that they're giving me is your word resentment here. So instead of focusing on maybe what you think didn't go right, I'm hearing spirits say, trust and know everything is working in your favor. This is where you really have to trust the universe. Falling in love is requiring the universe's help in hand because it is all faith-based. So what is it that you're moving towards? What, look at this, we have balance, it just popped out again. That's interesting, we have balance here, we have balance here. Let's take it, love. 
is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So challenges in, is in what? Challenges you to be in alignment, but even then should not be a challenge. It should not be a challenge. Love should not be a challenge. Is it a challenge to eat your favorite food? Like we have to really, you know, if you love your dog, is it a challenge to love your dog? No. So we have to know what is even the truth and what am I asking for? What am I even asking for? So we have take time to relax, indulge a little more or less in work, set boundaries with your work. So these people, these pulling people could be coming from your work. Some of you may not even have time for a relationship. So there's something about grounding yourself so you can even receive more relationships in your life. Okay, I definitely see that there's something here with family here too. Six of Cups, why is this here? There's something changing in your family. Yeah, Three of Cups, there's more harmony coming together in your family. I also see in your tribe. So you are attracting, it could be best friends, soul tribe. They're on the same vibration of you. It does not matter what hair color they have. It does not matter what skin color they have. It doesn't matter who has tattoos and who doesn't, who's shorter and who dresses like this. We are connected at the soul. This is your soul tribe. It doesn't matter how you look. That doesn't mean that we're all a tribe because we look alike. No, our spirits look alike. Our spirits are compassionate. Our spirits are kind. Our spirits are full of light, peace, wanting to, to help people, having a pure heart, pure intention. That's what connects you to your tribe and also with your person. All right, so let's see for those of you, we also have leadership. So you're walking into leadership and I do see it says step into leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. So you could have definitely been drawn to one of the singles. And that just tells me that you are aligning with a version of you that you feel the most confident about. This version of you is the most stable. So however you're imagining yourself when you're financially stable, are you even dressing the same? It's like everything changes when you, when you have freedom and financial stability card too. So it's like you have to imagine through there. You have to see beyond just work and all of this. It's like, what is this for? It's for feeling. And, and at anything, you deserve freedom. So I believe, ten of pinnacles at the bottom, whoever you're attracting, you guys have a lot of financial freedom together. This is not something you're going to have to work hard to do. This is a family dynamic. Okay, there's dogs here. There's kids running around. This is a stable connection you are attracting into your life card two. So if you guys were drawn to card two, this is your reading. If you're looking for that soulmate twin flame reading or any other readings, you can find that on the tarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to card three. Card three, this is your energy reading. All right. Ooh, I'm already getting messages. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Some of you could be trying very hard to manifest a person, a relationship, Okay, I'm hearing that it's really time to get into your feminine energy, card three. So you could have been drawn to this card. Now, if this is your first card that you're choosing, I'm going to read it co completely like this. But if this is your second card, this could be definitely what's leading you into card two because you would have you would have definitely chosen card two for sure. Okay, now what I'm getting here is that it's really about allowing the universe to deliver allowing you must actually get prepared to receive a masculine energy in your life whether you have one or not masculine presenting just simply means a leader confident someone who is a visionary and you don't mind following because your visions align that's a very key point here your visions align so you feel safe to follow all right so whether you're in a relationship or not this is what the universe is saying feels closest to your soul. Now, how do you know this is true? How do you feel when I say that? You must get in tune with your feelings, card three. Now, if you're a man and you chose card three, it's really saying getting into your feminine energy, learning to allow the universe to be your guider, all right, your provider, not being too masculine, but that's very, very small people have our men that maybe have attracted this card three this could be your person that is actually coming in for you 
So there's a lot of messages here for card three. I'm just getting them out. Whatever resonates with you is going to be your situation. What I'm getting here is that I'm just focusing on the highest form of light around your energy in this card that I have here. And I'm picking up that you have a specific person. You know this. You know it in your energy, in your instinct. You can feel it. Whether you're with them or not, you know that there is, that there is this person. All right, so Spirit is saying that I'm going to deliver that. So you must learn how to not do everything yourself. Not always trying to do it yourself. So what does it say? Be aware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Spirit is saying everyone you've dated has been a version of you. But which version? Which version are you projecting? Spirit wants you to project a higher version of you because spirit knows your desire is to receive a higher version of someone else, higher version, someone who is healed, someone who will not take things out on you, someone who will not take advantage of your kindness, see it as a weakness, someone who will match your intention of purity and compassion. This isn't something logical. This is something you're going to feel. Okay. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will improve drastically. So what this is telling me is if you're, whether you're in a relationship or not, there's something about just getting to know each other. Getting to know each other is very important. Not bringing so much seriousness. I, I feel like spirit is easing up all of this pressure on your love life. It's like, Nothing else is happening, so where's my love life? Like, where is it at? When is it going to be here? I'm ready. But where is the love now in your life? You don't have to wait to feel this feeling until a person comes. That's actually what's preventing them from coming is what I'm getting. All right, so we have the five of wands. Yeah, so you're coming out of conflict. We have Libra energy with the justice, a lot of karma that you have released. All right, and look at this. Out of all three decks, this would say I'm, I'm feeling like you are really in your head a little bit more than the other cards when it comes to your relationships. OK, so I see that your friendships are going to be balancing out, which is good. You're going to be connecting with someone specifically could have a sister energy, whatever. Whoever this person is, they have a lot of compassion. They're nurturing. They could be connected to nature. They could be a very sensual person like they're very confident in themselves as well as what I'm getting. So you have friendships that are coming in that you will be able to nurture. So I'm seeing that these friendships are also going to help you when it comes to learning more about yourself. They will be mirrors of you. You will be able to see what you're projecting by who you're attracting in people. So that's something that spirit is saying too. So there's a lot of balance that's being restored in your connections, in your relationships, specifically in your friendships. So you are trying too hard, meaning whatever is meant for you, you do not have to try. It's, it's literally meant for you with the zero effort. There you go. If it's meant for you, it's zero effort. Now realize all of the effort you've been putting into your relationships. And those are all the ones you're trying to make meant to be. And I can only tell you this from a place of love, because the universe knows in your soul you're desiring to feel more connected with people around you. Okay, we have the moon card, Pisces energy. Some of this is subconscious. Some of these things could barely be rising to the surface. And other people are helping you see more of yourself. You, I see that the universe is using your, your friendships, the people around you, as mirrors. Some of them are mirroring old versions of you, which is why unless they evolve, you will have to allow them to catch up with you instead of cutting them off. We'll say, allow them to keep up with you and catch up with you, catch up with you in your evolution. Card three, you're desiring so much more than the average person. And you actually believe and know you can have these desires. So this is something too, that I see that is creating a lot of ripple effects in your connections, in your relationships. So let's see, what is it that you are working on energetically when it comes to your relationships. Okay. We have the sacral chakra creation. 
Now you are mirroring your soulmate over there, card one. All right. They are also in their passion, in their energy. So whoever you are attracting, even people around you, much more creative energy. They inspire you. I'm hearing to want to be the empress, to want to be the emperor. Card one, emperor. Card three, empress. Card two, the lovers come together. That's the story that this entire reading is saying. So whether you're watching all three or not, I'm just sensing that you are mirroring card one. This is actually who you're attracting. If you haven't already, this person is in their creative energy, very artistic. They love to explore. Creation is also sexual energy. So there's a lot of chemistry. You are very attracted to this person and this person is attracted to you. So when you feel your most attraction, when was that? Connect with that version of you. So it says with a constructive attitude, I create what is best for my soul. I firmly believe I can transform and improve my inner and outer worlds by turning every thought into an affirmative action. I act in the image of God and bring light into my life. So you are the magician. You waking up to who you are is also you waking up to this version so you can even see this version in another person. You may not even think this is possible if you don't see it in yourself. So this is why it's so important that you see you because if you don't see you, you will not see them. They are reflecting. Them is whoever you're manifesting. Call them a soulmate. Call them a twin flame. Your intimate relationship, okay? You have an intimate relationship that you are attracting. Do you know this person already? The devil. No, you don't. You don't know this person. We have Capricorn energy in reverse. You don't know this person. Some of you could be dealing with a person or have someone in mind, all right? And I see that this person is coming up as a six of pinnacles. So this person could be a pivotal part to your journey, a very pivotal part to balancing your journey if you feel like you've already met them or not. All right, let's get another clue here for this person they're manifesting. Eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, so you're, it's, this person will ignite you to want to walk away from connections that are not in alignment with you feeling good that are not actually sparking you that are not bringing compassion wanting to get to know the version of you that you're becoming once again they would have to be really evolved you are manifesting people who are way more evolved than the average okay we have hope at the bottom so this you must know this not just believe it you must know it and I talk about this in the soulmate reading on the tarotchest.com. If it's still there, there was only 88 of them. So I don't know if they're there by the time you get there, but you must know and not just believe. Believing still leaves room for doubt. Believing you have to fulfill that belief every day by choosing to believe in it. Now, knowing is different. Knowing is a deep inner insight that cannot be denied. No, how many, no matter how many times you try to deny it, your desire for a deep, meaningful connection, let's just say that, even if you try to deny it, you can't. It's, it's so loud in your gut, in your soul, in your spirit, in your aura that the universe will remove the people who are not vibrating in this feeling of deep connection that you actually desire. So what I'm sensing is a lot of things are being removed, but you really must trust. Otherwise, it will look like chaos when it comes to your connections. Just trust and know the universe will deliver the right people. Even when you met me or even when you met some of your deepest connections in your life, it wasn't planned. It just showed up out of thin air. This has been the message lately. Yes. But we have to accept that. We have to accept we don't know where it's coming from, how it's coming to us. But what we can do is make room. And I see that. Look at this energy here. There's so much clearing that must be removed. And to get into your feminine energy, which means not having to control situations or outcomes, having to chase, not meant for me. Why am I chasing what's meant for me? That doesn't even make sense. If this chair was meant for you, why would it be running from you? It would be just there because it's meant to be. 
We have to see and trust more things that are meant to be, but we're overlooking it because it's so easy. What kind of relationships are you attracting, card three? Universe, let them know. Possibility, support, more support so that you're not doing everything on your own. Meaning spirit will send people that have blessings your way. So, so this feminine compassion and you being in your loving energy, not feeling like you're in control. So when people are saying I'm in my feminine energy, most people don't even know what that means, but it just simply means I'm allowing myself to be led. I'm not so strong and independent that I have to do it myself. Because if you, once you attract your person, how are you even going to receive them? They are an example and should be of the universe providing, delivering, and not providing. It has to be financially. It could be just simply masculine means you go first. Leader energy. Masculine just has a, an animal instinct, a just drive to go. Whereas feminine energy is more submissive, not in a bad way. I'm seeing that we have to release these roles. I don't even talk like this. And even me saying not in a bad way, I have to give disclaimers. So this is what's being projected in your aura. All right. Letting go of all of that energy. It's all good. Nothing is bad. <laughs> and that's what you have to accept. Nothing is bad. Even what you went through. And, and we look back like that was, but look at where you are now. So there's just a lot of acceptance. This is how you let go, card three. If you want to know how to let go, even, even that is controlling. Because the truth is, is, oh, I let it go. There's no way to say, okay, let this go. Release your fingers and hold. There you It's like there's no way to let something go. Even asking that is controlling in our human nature. Just release it. And, and, and what's going to help you release it is the possibility of differences, of actually receiving support. So it's like, yes, you're releasing this, but don't focus on what you're releasing. Focus on what you're gaining, what is coming your way, which is the possibility. So it says elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. You're creating all of this. So if you're in that projective loop, of gender roles, whatever it may be, all of that has nothing to do with love, okay? It has nothing to do with love. And even love is blind. Love is not blind. If it is blind, it's blind to conditions, meaning it doesn't see conditions. But that doesn't mean take your physical looks out of it. That still plays a part. So that is something for you, card three. It's not that it's about all of it. It's about you feeling good about you. You feeling good about you and then saying, I love you so much. I want to give you this best version of me. Like you make me want to give you my, my all, my best. And this person would already be in that energy in order to do that. And so that's where they're coming up as a leader, where you're allowing yourself to learn from them, from not being the one always teaching, not being the one always saving, but trusting and feeling safe because they're being led by the universe, by light, by compassion, by their heart. Yes, it's possible. Look at the bottom of the deck, miracle. This is a miracle you're manifesting. You have no idea. But you must let go of all of these strings, all of these conditions, and just allow it to come. All right? Not being so focused on the packaging. Still feeling good about the packaging, in this case, your body. Not just giving the gift and like just taping it up like, here you go. But feeling good. You must feel good. And whoever this person is is bringing that out of you. So let's see what else is happening in your connection. So you have friendships changing. All right, deep, deep friendships changing. Connecting with people on a much more, <laughs> look at this, receive. I can't make it up, guys. I can't. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. What is abundance? Abundance means a lot of. Someone says, a lot of people, it's so funny, I'm abundant. Okay, you're abundant in what? Right? You're abundant in what? In health? In beauty? You're abundant in worth. You have an abundance of worthiness. A lot of people have overlooked it, so therefore you have even overlooked it. But your friends that are coming now are getting ready to say, wow, 
That's so valuable that you know that. And you're going to say, whoa, I've been overlooking my value. And that's because they're going to project the greatest versions of you. So you must be open to receiving it or you will feel overwhelmed with love to the point where like, this is too good to be true. Yeah, because you weren't prepared for the good. So now it's way too good. Think about that. It has to be only a little bit good for us to be like, okay, it's like, it's crazy. You deserve this. You deserve unconditional love because of you. It's who you are. You deserve who you are choosing to be. And that's in your past. That's what you got. All right. Um, there's a little bit of naivety when it comes to just your discernment because your heart is so pure and that comes with it as an empath. We, yeah, look, you're a healer. You have powerful healing gifts, have faith in the ability, stay true to your path as a healer. So who do, who have you attracted in the past? Just unfair treatment, people not seeing your value. Like, Hey, I just spent a whole hour channeling these messages and you didn't even realize that it was through unconditional love is what you may be saying to people. What else is coming? Sanctuary, take time alone, spend time alone and meditate at the bottom. Crazy. Cause card one got that prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. If you're already went in one, why? Because you're changing. You change, you become more confident, you become this version of you. If you're in a relationship, it should naturally elevate that person too. If not, you'd have to settle by waiting for them or choose to move forward and receive someone who is choosing to be aligned with themselves. That's the tough part. You can be in a relationship and you're sky elevating. And trust me, if you're on my channel, you are moving at a very fast, rapid rate. Some of these insights took decades for me to discover or channel. And here I am giving it to you in the span of 11 minutes. You have no idea how fast you are actually going energetically, spiritually until an energy reader says, Hey, you're like, you're in the 1% here. So yeah, you've been attracting a lot of people who need healers, but you don't, you shouldn't have to save someone to feel love. Hmm empath you shouldn't have to save this person is already saved they chose to save themselves that's why you must be with someone who loves themselves or you will have to overcompensate for the love they don't have for themselves that's crazy that's crazy i'm channeling this at the same time i'm hearing it at the same time you are and it's very true and that's where you have to choose yourself you have to choose you card three so this is in your friendships, in your family, in your connections, in your relationships, because you choosing you also chooses them. Who's them? What are you attracting here? A new opening. When one door closes, I am confident another will open and I will be for the betterment and it will be for the betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and acknowledges the opportunity and learning to present them to me, serenity comes within. Once again, what challenge? We create the challenge by holding on. Love is not challenging. I love my dog. It's so challenging to love my dog. No, it's not. Love is not hard. You do not have to fight for love. Maybe you'll be the spokesperson of love. Maybe this is your purpose. Card three, you must trust. What have we been talking about? Yellow solar plexus, confidence, willpower. This is knowing who you are. This is where your self-esteem comes from. Your solar plexus, knowing who you are. You think once Michael Jordan knew who he was, he was just like, okay, cool. No, I'm the greatest basketball player of all time. I'm confident. Yeah, you know who you are. How could you not be? So true confidence comes from knowing who you are. Everything on your path is placed there for your growth. So you have chosen these doors and the universe has used them for your growth. So we don't resent anything. We let it go. We learn and we never have to go through that door. We never have to go through the suffering anymore. We never have to go through challenges less you desire to be challenged by not letting go. These are where the challenges are coming from. So when we think letting go, it's not the universe is like, let go. It's like, hey, 
let it go. It's hurting you. You're holding on to it. The rope is literally cutting your, the universe is coming from a place of love. Okay. This is not from, that's not the universe. So there's a lot that you're learning. Card number three. I hope that this brought you clarity about your relationships and the shift that you are experiencing in your life. Take time to yourself. Yourself is your best friend. And you're going to learn that very, very, very soon. So if you guys were drawn to this reading, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment down below. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. This one was really fun. The tarotchest.com has a really cool video on their soulmates and twin flame readings. So if you guys are looking for more of that, you can find that there. Obviously booking a session, you guys can find that also down below. There's only a few per month. So if you happen to snag a spot, then you're very, very fortunate. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next pick a card reading. I'm out.